That's it. We're here. We're live. And we're going to do some yoga, uh, doing a little flow with Natalie. And then she's going to bring us through a headstand instruction because that is one of those things in yoga I have not had a chance to get. It just hasn't happened for me. So she's going to take on the task today. Well, bend your knees, bring your hands right underneath the thighs, roll the shoulders up towards the ears and down the back. Let's take the basana both pose and just build some core strength here. So for one, two, we're going to five, keep lifting the chest, three, four, soften shoulders down, and five, lower the feet down, cross up the ankles. And if you have something that just feels really uncomfortable, you can sit on a block, if you have it, or a pillow. And then softening shoulders away from the ears. Three more here. Deep breath. Your right leg, your right leg is down. Yeah. And then reach the left arm forward towards the front. Half moon balance pose. So from here, you're going to bring the weight forward, balancing on your right leg. You take a block here. And then start to stack the left hip on top of the right. Nice. Take a breath in. And then exhale, cargo the hands down. You can and then ground that back heel. Open up, find warrior two. So find your warrior two again on the other side. Face forward. We're going to take a reverse tabletop just to neutralize the spine. So uh, bring your shoulders up towards the ears down the back. And we'll take one more breath in. And a breath out. Good. And then if you're in your pigeon, you'll walk your hands close towards you. Remove any props that you have. And then again, we'll uh, swing that right leg forward. So switch your right shoulders onto the back. And then when you're ready, you'll press down with the feet and move all the way up. Okay, and you'll stay in your heel pose for five breaths on your own. By all means, go ahead. Keep pressing down with the feet, relaxing the head. When you're done with your five, you'll slowly lower all the way down, tuck the chin. Press yourself up to a seat. All right, so um, we're going to try and learn uh, an inversion. So I'm going to give a couple options. We're going to handstand before and you prefer something more restorative. We'll take legs up the wall. We'll come and this is like the best. Oh, especially for you because you're a runner, Ginger. This is really good. That was a lot, but maybe that's uh, so you go today. That's a great start, building strength in the shoulders. It doesn't affect it so much. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. Okay, keep walking the feet more forward. Keep working just towards that pose here. Keep pressing down with the forearms. Stay, keep pressing up in the forearms. <laughs> Yeah, fast day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay, practice with a camera so that okay. you can see what your body is doing. Sometimes you, that's helped me tremendously in my practice. Yeah. Sometimes you think you're doing something one way and then you see it and it's like totally different. So it helps yeah. that way. 